Hi guys, Dave here, co-founder at E3D Online, and I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step how to install a high-flow Obsidian hot end onto a Bamboo X1 Carbon. Okay, so I've made sure that the power is disconnected, and I've now moved the carriage so that it's about in the middle. Um, I've also removed the top glass section because it just makes life a lot easier. Next thing we need to do is remove the three connectors that you'll see here that, that have wires that run down to the hot end. Well, one of them, the bottom one, is the temperature sensor. You've then got a fan and a heating uh, cable as well. If you've never done any kind of electronics in the past, fear not. These are just small Molex connectors. They, are, they do come out. Um, they might just take a bit of wiggling uh, when you're pulling them out. Um, one thing to definitely remember is never ever pull cables by the actual cable. Always pull them out by the connector itself. The last thing you want to do is pull the, pull the wire from the inside out of the actual connector itself. So may require a bit of a finger, fingernail to pull these out. They will come out with a bit of wiggling and finesse. Next thing we need to do is unscrew the actual hot end assembly itself using a 2mm hex key. Now that we've got our cables out from behind the retaining clip and our two screws completely removed, we can now remove the hot end itself. This is done in a downward motion. If you give it a bit of a wiggle down, it will drop out like that. Now that we've successfully reinstalled our hot end, it's time to pop the cables back in. So I'm just going to start with the fan, and I'm going to make sure that the fan cable is nicely housed behind this retention clip, the temperature sensor, and then the heating element. And then it now comes the medium fiddly bit of trying to get all of the connectors back in. But it's not as hard as you think. You'll feel the thermistor go in with a click. The fan, it, ha it does have polarity, so it does have a right way and a wrong way. Um, but the way that the Molex connectors are made, or the connectors are made, it's almost impossible to put it in the wrong way. Once it's in, just give it a bit of a push. You'll feel it go home on that and then finally the heating element as well. Click, done. And that is the fiddliness completed. And then we're just gonna pop our, make sure the wires are all tucked away, pop our housing back on again. And we are complete, well done. Don't forget that this was the fully assembled variant of the E3D Bamboo Lab Hot End. Check out our YouTube channel for the metal only version. Thank you very much for watching this upgrade guide. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave us a comment down in the bottom there if you would like to see any specific video guides or, or upgrade guides of any other printers. And I will be more than happy to do that for you.